it's Tina. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so I got a new project for you that I'm going to try out that's been on my bucket list for a couple of years. I've been wanting to try it. I've been watching tons and tons and tons of videos about creating one. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead on and give it a try. I came across this book, which was The Binding Factor. All right, can somebody tell him thank you so you all i'm going to attempt to make an altered book journal yes i said it an altered book journal so i've been watching like tons of these videos i remember and i want to know if you all remember crafty irene before her mom passed her mom had dementia and alzheimer's and so she was like the 24-hour, 365 um, caregiver for her mom. And so what she would do at night when her mom couldn't rest or wouldn't sleep, Irene would do altered books. And they were so inspiring is where I really first found out about an altered book. From there, I have like a list of people that I have just been watching and following over the years I wanted to do an altar book, so I decided I'm going to give it a try. I came across this book in one of the secondhand stores. First thing that caught my attention was it was a hardbound book, hardcover book, right? So this here little sleeve comes out. I got the book, first of all, let me go back. The first thing that caught my I, about the book was the book itself hugs for women so i wanted to explore the book so i did purchase it for that reason but the second reason i should say that i purchased it is because i thought it would make a good altered book okay so this sleeve comes off i love the cover of this so i don't want to depart with it i will probably use it in a journal someday all right. Um, I've already went through the journal and tore out my pages. So this book had a hundred and twenty-two pages in it. I tore out thirty of the pages. Okay, thirty of the pages. Beautiful pages. Now these are not thin, thin papers. They're not thick, thick. They're like medium weight, which I did like. It's not a big a big book, so for my first time, I felt like this would be great a great size. Okay, so 122 pages in the book, front to back. I tore out 30 of the pages, and I end up having 17 front and back, which gives me 34 pages in this book book now. Okay, so I have already went in tore out and glued together now they give a lot of people gave different suggestions on how to glue your pages together or what to use i should say to glue your pages together some a lot of people were using that that glue that's in the in the gold bottle it's like a water to me i, I don't like that glue and I knew I was not going to try that glue. What is the name of that glue? It's a very, very cheap, like, white glue. To me, it's worse than Elmer's. But that's just that's just me. I, I should have had the name of it since I'm talking about it. It's in a gold bottle. Aline, Helene's, Aline. I don't know the name of it, you all, but I knew I was not going to use that glue because I have tried that glue several times, and I do not like that glue. Now, one of the things they were talking about when it comes to gluing the pages together, they recommended either that Aileen's tacky glue or either a glue stick. Now, I didn't want to use a glue stick because, like, I have used glue sticks before, and I go back six months later and stuff falling off my paper. I did that in a glue book, and I was disappointed because I had spent a lot of time in that little glue book using this glue stick and i went back to flip through my glue book months later and stuff was falling out so i didn't want to use the glue stick 
But they talked about not using a glue, a wet glue that you can see once it dry where you have adhered the glue. And I know for a fact that my beacons, which I love, does sometimes leave that impression of where I left the glue, right? So I was like, oh, okay, I got to think about that. Another thing they were saying is you didn't want to use an adhesive that makes your pages hard and stiff. Thought about that. One thing about beacons, honey, beacons is going to glue it and 10 years later, it's still going to be glued. Beacons going to give you some weight to whatever your project is. I love me some beacons. So I thought about that. So I'm going to tell you all what I decided to pull out and use. And I've never seen anybody say that they've used this, but I use this multi Tombow glue. All right. And what I did first liked about it is that it has this tip, this, this tip right here. So it's a dual tip. This is the tip I usually use because you could put like a little bit dots. You know, it, it's, it's a thin for fine application. This right here allows you to smooth it out so i use this glue i use this tip and i really like the way my pages came out you see they still bendable right and you cannot see where the glue was adhered and all i did was put glue on the four on the three uh four corners because i did in here too okay so most of my pages, remember now, this is my first time doing this. So don't y'all, don't y'all get at me too bad. So you went in one page, two pages, and then you tore. But because of some of the pages that I wanted to keep, I couldn't do the entire book in that sequence. So I wanted to keep this page as a page. So therefore, I had to tear out this. Usually when you tear two pages, then you're going to take these two and glue them together. But I could not do that because I had already glued two here. It was one left here. And if I would have left that one in here, if I would have left it in here, then I would have had to glue it down to this side. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm not worried about this because it's some other things that I could use, like some um, some tape, washi tape if I want to, but that really doesn't bother me. It's an altar book, okay? So my pages came out really, really nice. Um, gave it a little bit more weight, but it's not too heavy, and the pages are bendable, okay? So I haven't did anything to this book, you all, but put the tore the pages out and put the pages back together. So this is a project that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to attempt to actually do process videos for some of the pages. If I get good at it, if I feel like it's worth sharing the process or it was successful, the process went smoothly, I'll go ahead and do as many process videos as I can. All right. Any questions? Anybody that wants to go along with me and play along with me, you're more than welcome to do this. I'm going to just do it randomly whenever, however long it takes me. I'm going to try to do, my goal is to try to do at least um, one, two, maybe pages a week and maybe one video to just show y'all updates or how my book is going. I have not decided on what I want to do for the cover, but that's coming up. I just got to give it the process a little bit more time to come up in my mind of what I want to do. I think I have an idea of how I want to do the cover, but I'm not for sure. But what I do know is I'm going to start doing layouts even before I do the cover. Does that make sense? All right, I'm going to leave. Tell me what you think about this idea. Tell me if you ever tried this idea. And if you want to grab a book from a junk store, a book you might have at home, just look for a book that already has the pages glued, not the pages sewn in, and then begin to tear out, make your pages, and come join me. All right, till next time, y'all stay blessed. Talk to you.
keep creating.